Greetings to you kids. This is Bishop Vetter. I'm your bishop. And I'm going to read you a couple of books today. So uh, I hope you're doing well and enjoying your time with your family. So here's the first book, You Are Special by Max Lucado. All right. All right, here we are. The Wimmicks were small wooden people. All of the wooden people were carved by a woodworker named Eli. His workshop sat on a hill overlooking their village. Each Wimmick was different. Some had big noses, others had big eyes. Some were tall, others were short. Some wore hats, others wore coats. But all were made by the same carver and all lived in the village. And all day, every day, the Wimmicks did the same thing. They gave each other stickers. Each Wimmick had a box of gold star stickers and a box of gray dot stickers. Up and down the streets all over the city, people sent their days, people spent their days sticking stars or dots on one another. The pretty ones, those with smooth wood and fine paint, always got stars. But if the wood was rough or the paint chipped, the Wimmicks gave dots see him there. Huh? The talented ones got stars too. Some could lift big sticks high above their heads or jump over tall boxes. Still others knew big words or could sing pretty songs. Everyone gave them stars. Some Wimmicks had stars all over them. Every time they got a star, it made them feel so good. It made them want to do something else and get another star. Others, though, could do little and they got dots. Puccinello was one of these. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell. And when he fell, the others would gather around and give him dots. Sometimes when he fell, his wood got scratched, so the people would give him more dots. Then when he would try to explain why he fell, he would say something silly, and the Wimmicks would give him more dots. You can see him here. He's got a whole bunch of them. After a while, he had so many dots that he didn't want to go outside. He was afraid he would do something dumb, such as forget his hat or step in the water, and then people would give him another dot. In fact, he had so many gray dots that some people would come up and give him one for no reason at all. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would agree with one another. He's not a good wooden person. After a while, Puccinello believed them. I'm not a good Wimmick, he would say. The few times he went outside, he hung around other Wimmicks who had dots, lots of dots. He felt better around them. One day, he met a Wimmick who was unlike any he'd ever met. She had no dots or stars. She was just wooden. Her name was Lucia. It wasn't that people didn't try to give her stickers. It's just that the stickers didn't stick. Some of the Wimmicks admired Lucia for having no dots, so they would run up and give her a star, but it would fall off. Others would look down on her for having no stars, so they would give her a dot, but it wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want to be, thought Puccinello. I don't want anyone's marks. So he asked the stickerless Wimmick how she did it. It's easy, Lucia replied. Every day I go see Eli. Eli? Yes, Eli. The woodcarver. I sit in the workshop with him. Why? Why don't you find out for yourself? Go up the hill. He's there. And with that, the Wimmick, who had no stickers, turned and skipped away. But will he want to see me? Puccinello cried out. Lucia didn't hear. So Puccinello went home. He sat near a window and watched the wooden people as they scurried around, giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he murmured to himself, and he decided to go see Eli. He walked up the narrow path to the top of the hill and stepped into a big shop. His wooden eyes widened at the size of everything. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on his tiptoes to see the top of the workbench, a hammer as long as his arm. Puccinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here, and he turned to leave. Then he heard his name, Puccinello. 
The voice was deep and strong. Puccinello stopped. Puccinello, how good to see you. Come, let me have a look at you. Puccinello turned slowly and looked at the large bearded craftsman. You know my name? the little Wimmick asked. Of course I do. I made you. There he is. Eli stooped down and picked him up and sat him on the bench. Hmm. The maker spoke thoughtfully as he looked at all the gray dots. Looks like they've been giving you some bad marks. I didn't mean to, Eli. I really tried hard. Oh, you don't have to defend yourself to me, child. I don't care what the other Wimmicks think. You don't? No. And you shouldn't either. Who are they to give stars or dots? They're Wimmicks, just like you. What they think doesn't matter, Punchinello. All that matters is what I think. And I think you are pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me? Special? Why? I can't walk fast. I can't jump. My paint is peeling. Why do I matter to you? Eli looked at Puccinello, put his hands on those small wooden shoulders, and spoke very slowly. Because you're mine. That's why you matter to me. Puccinello had never had anyone look at him like this, much less his maker. He didn't know what to say. Every day I've been hoping you'd come, Eli explained. I came because I met someone who had no marks, said Punchinello. I know, she told me about you. Why don't the stickers stay on her? The maker spoke softly. Because she has decided that what I think is more important than what they think. The stickers only stick if you let them. What? The stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the less you care about their stickers. I'm not sure I understand. Eli smiled. You will, but it will take time. You've got a lot of marks. For now, just come and see me every day, and let me remind you how much I care. Eli lifted Punchinella off the bench and sat him on the ground. Remember, Eli said as the Wimmick walked out the door, you are special because I made you and I don't make mistakes. Puccinello didn't stop, but in his heart he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. The end. That's a great story, isn't it? And it's true. It's true. That's how God sees us. He loves us because he made us. We're his, and he saved us. He sent his son to save us. So we don't need to put stars and dots on people or on ourselves, right? That we're made in God's image. He made us like Him, and He loves us because we're His. God bless you, kids. Say a prayer for me, okay? Bye now.